Okay. <laughs> All right, kids. Today, I'm going to read some stories out of a very cool book. It's called The Complete Mother Goose. And this is a very old book. It was written and published in 1928. And this actually belonged to one of my grandfathers. And it has some of his crayon markings in it. So today, I am going to read you a story called Come Hither, Little Puppy Dog. Come hither, little puppy dog. I'll give you a new collar. If you will learn to read your book and be a clever scholar. No, no, replied the puppy dog. I've other fish to fry. For I must learn to guard your house and bark when thieves come nigh. With a tingle, tangle, tit mouse, Robin knows great A and B and C and D and E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. Come hither, pretty cockatoo. Come and learn your letters, and you shall have a knife and fork to eat with like your betters. No, no, the cockatoo replied. My beak will do as well. I'd rather eat my victuals thus than go and learn to spell. With a tingle, tangle, titmouse, Robin knows great A and B and C and D and E, F, G, H, I, and J and K. Come hither, little pussycat. If you'll your grammar study, I'll give you silver clogs to wear whene'er the gutter's muddy. No, whilst I grammar learn, says Puss, your house will in a trice be overrun from top to bottom with flocks of rats and mice. With a tingle, tangle, titmouse, Robin knows great A and B and C and D and E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. Come hither then, good little boy, and learn your alphabet, and you a pair of boots and spurs like your papa's shall get. Oh, yes, I'll learn my alphabet, and when I well can read, perhaps Papa will give me, too, a pretty long-tailed steed. With a tingle-tangle titmouse, Robin knows great A and B and C and D and E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. That is the first story I'm going to read to you. These are a little short, so I'm going to read another one. And that was Come Hither, Little Puppy Dog. The next story is called Old Mother Hubbard. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. But when she came there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. She went to the baker's to buy him some bread. But when she came back, the poor dog was dead. She went to the joiners to buy him a coffin, but when she came back, the poor dog was laughing. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking his pipe. She went to the fishmongers to buy him some fish, and when she came back, he was licking the dish. She went to the alehouse to get him some beer, but when she came back, the dog sat in a chair. She went to the tavern for white wine and red, but when she came back, the dog stood on his head. She went to the hatters to buy him a hat, but when she came back, he was feeding the cat. She went to the barbers to buy him a wig, but when she came back, he was dancing a jig. She went to the fruiterers to buy him some fruit, but when she came back, he was playing the flute. She went to the tailors to buy him a coat, but when she came back, he was riding a goat. She went to the cobblers to buy him some shoes. But when she came back, he was reading the news. She went to the seamstress to buy him some linen. But when she came back, the dog was spinning. And she went to the hosiers to buy him some hose. But when she came back, he was dressed in his clothes. The dame made a curtsy. The dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. The dog said, Bow wow. This wonderful dog was Dame Hubbard's delight. He could sing, he could dance, he could read, he could write. She gave him rich dainties whenever he fed and erected a monument when he was dead. 
just a couple of nice little uh, nursery rhyme stories for you kids today. I hope you enjoyed them.